Let's go uh, the Cardinals here. They went 4-2 and two last year, Reed T. Fowler, winning the first four. They lost the last two. Their total sits at 3.5 on the DK Sportsbook. Um, obviously, the DK Sportsbook expects Arizona to take a step back this season. And we know this, too. DeAndre Hopkins suspended for the first six games. Yep. But just two division contests during that span. So you want to go over or under? I'm going under. Okay. Um, J.J. Watt, questionable. They lose Chandler Jones to the Raiders. Uh, Jeff's boy, Chase Edmonds, is no longer – in that backfield, it's all James Conner, your boy. Uh -oh. uh, I think all of us believe that that you know all three of us can feasibly believe that they can they can double up on Seattle, right? Like every team in this division is probably going to double up on Seattle. So can they split against San Francisco and the Rams? And I'm not sure, right? Again, we talk about offensive line. The Cardinals have one of the worst in this division, I believe, offensive lines, and their average age of the starting five is 30 years old. If these guys get injured, and most of them on their downturn, you're going to see Kyler Murray get injured again without D-Hop, without Murray potentially. That worries me a lot, so I'm going to go under. All right, Pierce, what direction are you going? I'm going to go under. It's pretty amazing. Last season going in, this was the sexy team to pick, and really there hasn't been that many changes, but D-Hop seems to have gotten old really fast. I know that people are down because he's going to be missing games, but he did not look like the same player last year. Yeah, he was battling injuries, but – you think those injuries are just going to disappear this season? Is it really just losing Chase Edmonds has made us hate the Cardinals that much? I think the real reason is the defense has gotten old. The defense at times punched above its weight. And then also last season, several times they were very disappointing. You just really can't trust the defense. And then you, you also really can't trust the offense. We're all screaming, let Kyler Murray play. Let him be dynamic. Let him be mobile. And we see glimpses of that. And we think, oh, wow, this is going to be the team to beat. And then they just shut it down. Then he gets injured. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I'm not going to fall for this again. This is just not a real offense until they completely unleash Kyler, Kyler Murray and Hopkins proves that he is his former self. All right, well, Jeff, the Cardinals are over the hot starts and rough finishes, and it's more of a back-heavy uh, conference or division schedule. Yeah, no, look, I mean, I, I want nothing to do with anything over on the Cardinals this year. I, you name me one spot where the Cardinals, like, improve as a team. I, I think that, that Pierce alluded to it. The defense really just outperformed last year. And and now they lost Chandler Jones. So they've lost their pass rush. I don't see the back end getting any better, like, in terms of the secondary. This is just not a defense I'm interested in at all. I don't really see playmakers there necessarily. I don't really see a team that's going to be dominating. So then you turn to the offense. Well, there's no DeAndre Hopkins, and you're replacing him with Marquise Brown, one of the most inconsistent up and down, perhaps diva wide receivers in the league thus far. Oh, by the way, Kyler Murray's been complaining all offseason about contract and just not liking the team and stuff. That's great. So now we're, we're expecting him to go put his body on the line and be like the driving force of this offense again, like he was through like six games last year. No, I think that this team is just smoke and mirrors. And I think Cliff Kingsbury kind of showed his true colors towards the end of the year. And that's like he wants to give. James Conner the ball like 30 times a game. Yeah, baby. I'm sorry. Like, maybe that worked a little bit, but that is not going to work over a full season. I think this Cardinals team is going to be really disappointing in 2022. Um, I, I think that they're going to have, like, you know, synchro issues on offense as well with some new faces in and no DeAndre Hopkins. So, yeah, the number isn't great, but I'm not taking the over on the Cardinals. Give me the under in division wins as well. Hey, Jeff, let's I, I think that Seattle will give a team like Arizona trouble because okay. I don't think this defense is going to be able to stop the run very well either. So I think this is a team that realistically Seattle can at least split with uh, just in terms of talking about the division too. Well, let's not forget Christian Kirk, the star in Jacksonville, no longer there as well. Uh-huh. Damn right.